Interested in helping others manage their pain? Our next guest takes a holistic approach to health management and is an expert at finding those stubborn pressure points. Let's meet an acupuncturist. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Sarah. It's lovely to meet you. Welcome to the clinic. Let me show you around. All right. I'm Sarah Ward, and I am a registered acupuncturist here in East Vancouver. I help people get better. I facilitate people back to optimal health. I feel like acupuncture is most known for treating pain. It's often what bring people in the door and they're like, wow, acupuncture can do so much more than just treat my pain. While you come in for back pain, you leave feeling way better with no back pain and great sleeps and better digestion and all the things. Sarah, I understand there's different types of acupuncture. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, there's lots of different styles. There's um, situations where we could needle on your back, needle where the pain is. There's balance method, which I practice. There's other modalities to acupuncture as well, where you can do cupping hmm. and massage. It's called twena and uh, moxa as well. So there's lots of different um, modalities under the TCM umbrella. Super wide ranging. Yeah. I think like most people that have become acupuncturists or health practitioners, there's always been some sort of like major health crisis and I am just like that. I had a major health crisis in my early 20s and it was digestive related and I had been to every single doctor known to man, had all the tests done, nothing was helping. My friend suggested I go see an acupuncturist and within two weeks, 90% of my issues were resolved. As soon as I did it, I was like, I have to know everything that this person just did on me. And I started studying right away. To become an acupuncturist, registered practitioner, schooling can look a little bit different. Once you've passed your certification, you then go for a board exam for acupuncture, for herbology, and then doctor of TCM. So Sarah, we have oranges and we have needles. I can take a guess <laughs> at what we're doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you how to needle. This is kind of okay. how we learn when we are just starting at school. So what I'm going to need to do is here, grab a cotton ball and then you're going to push it down on the alcohol and we're going to okay. do a clean field technique, which is really important. So right. we're going to go ahead and swab the orange. Make sure the orange is nice and clean. And then you're going to take your package mm -hmm. and you're going to kind of pop out a needle. Okay. You're just going to hold the orange because you would be holding the patient's body with your other hand. And then this is your needle hand and off you go. You just Pop it in. Stick it in. Just stick it in. When you're needling on a body, it's obviously very different than an orange, right? And you, have, you have to make sure you know where you're going. And, right. Um, so yeah, it never really goes to the tip. So okay. That's a just hot like that. Tip. You got it. <laughs> so one of the most re rewarding parts of my job is when someone is sitting in my chair and we're treating pain, for example, and it just disappears with a few perfectly placed needles. It's just one of the most remarkable things. And it's at that point that people start to believe. They realize how powerful acupuncture is and how able their body is to heal. I think that's a really important aspect. Sarah, thank you so much for having me today. Thank you so much for coming, Miriam. It's been great having you here. Of course. I'm Miriam for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours.